Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made these floating cauldrons two different ways and all items were from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. The first thing I did with both cauldrons is bend my spoon and fork as much as I could so that when I attached the cauldron at the top, it would appear as if the cauldron was pouring into the bowl. I would suggest trying to find silverware that has thinner handles because these were very difficult for me to bend. Then I attached the spoon to the bowl using hot glue and super glue. I went ahead and painted the bowl black and my cauldron green off camera after the glue was dry. Next, I took different colors of pipe cleaners and glued them together. Once that dried, I glued all the pipe cleaners onto the handle part of the spoon. Once I was satisfied with the length of the pipe cleaners, I attached the cauldron to the back of the spoon with hot glue and super glue. You can see that the whole thing isn't sturdy yet, but once the coins are in place, that will give it a little more weight and hold itself up. Then I took my styrofoam ball, cut it in half, and glued it to the inside of the bowl. I cut all my coins in half, except about three or four coins I left whole. Now I'm just going around the styrofoam ball with my halves, attaching them with the hot glue, and I continued gluing them around the ball pretty close to one another. Once I got to the top, I glued a whole coin to finish it off. The next one, I started off by gluing my fork to my base. You can use something else as long as it has a little weight and sturdiness to it. Once that dried, I started gluing my coins all around the base. Then I started moving up the handle of the fork and I also attached some on the back side of the fork. Make sure you do leave a little space at the top of the handle for the cauldron. I had to take some of the coins off at the top because the cauldron wouldn't fit when it was time to glue it onto the fork. Right here I took a few coins and cut them in half and started gluing them around the base just to hide the base a little bit more.
Once I was done attaching the coins, I went ahead and spray painted the coins off camera. That's optional, you don't have to spray paint them, you can leave them as is. Lastly, I attached the cauldron to the back of the fork with glue. Then I attached a few more coins inside the cauldron to finish off that pouring effect. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.